Good morning, class. Today I want to talk about a weighted mean versus an arithmetic mean. As you know, the mean, or average as we call it in the business world, evaluates the central tendency of that of data. But when some of those values contribute more than others to the result, you need to compute a weighted mean. For example, when you do a simple mean, all, or arithmetic mean, if you will, all numbers are given equal weight. So in order to calculate this weighted mean, you multiply each weight by the matching value and sum it all up. Or multiply each weight by its matching value, x, and sum that all up and divide by the sum of weights. Let me give you an example. Suppose you took three exams towards your final grade in your business stat class with different weights. Exam 1 weighed 40%. Exam 2 weighed 25%, and exam 3 weighed 35%. So you scored on the first exam 75, on the second exam 80, and on your third exam 70. So what is your final weighted average for the exam and for the class? Well, there's a, a table down here in which I will list four columns. First column would be the item, exam 1, 2, and 3. The second column will reflect the weights for each particular exam, 40%, 25%, and 35%. That's going to equal to 1. So you score 75 on the first exam, 80 on the second exam, and 70 on the third exam for a total of 225 points earned, if you will. So the total for the exam, now you would multiply the weight by the score like for exam number one, 40% times 75 will give you 30. Or you could say 30 points out of a possible 40 points for that particular exam. For exam two, you multiply 25% times 80, and you would get 20 points out of a possible 25 for that exam. Exam three, you multiply 35% times 70, and you would get 24.5 points out of a possible 35 for that exam. You add that up, you have a total of 74.5 as a final grade for those exams and for the class. So that's how you would compute the weighted mean. Now there are some cautions I want you to be aware of however, when you deal with a weighted mean. If the weighted factor is more than one, then the result would be reduced. For instance, if this was Say for instance, if the exam weights total 1.2, and that's going to bring down your total exam score. Also, outliers have a tendency to affect the result of a weighted mean more so than a regular arithmetic mean. So, there it is. Weighted mean versus arithmetic mean. Thank you.